Welcome to Finance and Accounting Tutorials. My name is Peter and I will be your host in this particular tutorial. Today I'll take you through working capital management and basically we are going to look at how to set optimal cash balance. So there are three methods which can be applied in setting optimal cash balance which include one, the Bowmulls model, two, the cash budget, and three, we have the Miller or model. In this tutorial, we are going to look at the Bowmulls model, and the Bowmulls model is based on three assumptions, and the first assumption is that the firm uses cash at a steady predictable rate, two, the cash outflows from operations also occurs at a steady rate, and three, the cash net outflows also occur at a steady rate. The Bermuda model is given by the formula C equals to the root of 2BT over I, where C is the optimal amount of cash to be raised by selling marketable securities, B is the fixed cost of making a security trade, T is the total annual cash requirements, and I is the opportunity cost of holding cash. Then for you to get the total cost, you say TC is given as a half CI plus T over C B. So we are going to look at an illustration, and this illustration here is going to help us understand the Bermuda's model better. The illustration here says that ABC Limited makes cash payments of shillings 10,000 per week. The interest rate on marketable securities is 12% and every time the company sells marketable securities, it incurs a cost of shillings 20. So you are required to A. Determine the optimal amount of marketable securities to be converted into cash every time the company makes the transfer. B. Determine the total number of transfers from marketable securities to cash per year. C. Determine the total cost of maintaining the cash balance per year. And D. Determine the firm's average cash balance. So we are going to start with the part A of the question. We are supposed to determine the optimal amount of marketable securities to be converted into cash every time the company makes the transfer. So as we had seen earlier, the formula is given by C equals to the root of 2 BT over I, where B is the fixed cost, T is the total cash requirements, and I is the interest or the opportunity cost. So based on our question here, ABC Limited makes cash payments of shillings 10,000 per week. So the 10,000 in this case is our T, that is the the total cash requirement per week. So for us to know the total cash requirements per annum, we need to multiply 10,000 with 52 because one year is made of 52 weeks. That is 365 divided by seven days you get 52 weeks. That's where we multiply 52 by 10,000 to get 520,000 as our total cash uh, requirements. Then uh, uh, the interest rate on marketable securities is 12%. So that is our I, that is the opportunity cost. And every time the company sells marketable securities, it incurs a cost of shillings 20. So 20 here is our fixed cost, that is B. So replacing that in the formula, we have 2 times 20, which is our B times T, which is 520,000, divided by the I, which is 12%. That is 12 divided by 100, you get 0 0.12 and we get our optimal cash requirement or the cash balance is 13,166. Part B of this question requires us to determine the total number of transfers from marketable securities to cash uh, to cash per year. So to get the total number of transfers you need to divide the total cash requirements with the optimal cash balance that is 520,000 divided by 13 166 you get that 9.5 which is approximately 40 times but C of this question requires to determine the total cost of maintaining the cash balance per year as we have said earlier the total cost is given by a half CI plus T over CP we have already gotten our C which is 
the optimal balance of 13,166. We have our I, which is the interest of 12%, which is 0.12. We have T, which is the total cash requirements. We have gotten that as 520,000. And then we have our B, which is the fixed cost of 20. Replacing that in the formula, you get our total cost is 1580 Lastly, you're supposed to determine the firm's average cash balance. So to get the average cash balance, you divide the optimal cash balance by 2. That is, multiply it by half, so it will be 13,166 by 2. You get shilling 6,583. And that is how you can determine the optimal cash balance in an organization using the Baumol's model. I'm so grateful for taking this opportunity to uh, listen to this tutorial. We do appreciate and we hope that you get to understand how to maintain the optimal cash balance. Let's meet next in our next tutorial. Kindly uh, like and follow our YouTube channel for future tutorials. Let's learn finance and accounting with ease. Thank you very much.